Welcome to another video guys. Today we're looking at the top five lures that we recommend for beginners. All right, so the easiest ones to use that will definitely catch you some fish, especially if you're starting out trying to catch some brimum lures. These are the top five. If you took these, you'd probably be able to catch one. All right, no mucking around. Number five is the double clutch or a jerk bait styled lure. Now we fish for black brim down here and either size of the 60 or the 75. And other jerk baits that we like is a Twitch 50. It's a bit smaller profile from Hurricane. And that way, if they're eating smaller bait, you can use that. Otherwise, this looks like a really nice little tiny gar, little mullet swimming around. And what you wanna do with those ones is you cast it out and you twitch, you twitch and you let it sit there and pause. All right, and then you usually get the hits then. All right, so you wanna twitch, twitch, if it's going too deep into weed, that's where we get the shallower jerk baits, like the Twitch 50s, and that way it won't get into the weed. And they suspend. So once you twitch them down, they sit there in the same bit of the water column, they don't float up or sink down, they just stay there, and it's really good for brim. But that's in number five, it's a bit of a tricky technique to get used to, but we put it in as five because that's actually what we started off with ourselves and we actually learned that technique when we were fishing for flathead but now we use it all the time to catch those black brim down here in victoria all right number four good all-round lure you can use this in a variety of situations all right so you can use it in the deep or shallow it is a paddle tail plastic so we have z-man slim swims up to two and a half inches that's usually the rough size that we go there's also the new Bait junkie ones here, the minnows, same size, pretty much the same. They have the paddle tail. Now those ones you can fish on, I usually do the heaviest, is around one eighth, all the way up to, I usually go maybe one twentieth. You can go lighter if you are in a less flow zone and you want it to just waft down next to some structure, slower, all right? But one eighth is the max I go where it's a bit more tidal or deeper water and that way you just hop the plastic along so you can feel it in the line one eighth is probably the best for your beginners that way you can really tell when it gets to the bottom it'll stop your line will go slack and then you can wind up that slack give it a little hop like it's an injured bait fish just hopping along the bottom all right and quite often you'll feel the little pluck that's when you want to really rip in try and strike it because you've only got the one hook on there and try and set that hook so very versatile lure, really recommend, great value for beginners too. So you can buy a whole packet of these, gives you a lot more lures that way if you lose it. As you can see here, I actually need to restock up, I've got two more left in here. But you get quite a lot of number of lures and that with a packet of jig heads, you've got lots of lures, you can lose them, it doesn't hurt the wallet as much. As say if you lose some double clutches and that, it's gonna cost you a lot more. So great beginner lure. All right, number three. It is going to be, we recommend the grub style. So the curly tails, you can go down to the tiny little two inch ones, or you can also go up to our most favorite size, which is the two and a half inch, all right? So they come in a range of colors, both with the paddle tails. We like the natural colors or motor oil. Motor oil seems to be the best. Tyler loves the camo in the grubs, so you can give that a whirl as well. Not a huge fan, but he likes it. So pick a color that you're confident with and that way you'll probably catch more fish. But motor oil is a great one to start with. Catches lots of fish. Now with that one, you're gonna have the same thing with the jig heads, all right? These ones I do like to fish a bit lighter because you don't have to get that paddle going. It, any bit of weight and that little tail is just wafting down and it looks really nice. So around a 16th size jig head is what I like for those, but if you are land based or things like that and you really need to feel the bottom, do a 12th or an 8th again, and that way you'll definitely feel when it gets to the bottom. Hop it back. You can actually even slow roll both the paddle tail and the grub. That's also an effective technique. So you let it get out there, sink down the bottom, once you know it's on the bottom, just a little hop and then just really slow wind it in, all right? And that can actually get quite a lot of bites too. So that's our number three. Three and four were very similar, but we thought, we're gonna distinguish between those two. You get a pack of each and you're set, you're ready to go for your plastics, all right? A couple of light jig heads and a couple of heavy jig heads and that will get you some fish. All right, we're getting into the pointy end. So number two, 
we have selected as the crankbaits. So atomic little crank here. Use this in all kinds of situations. They come in different sizes. So this one's actually a Daiwa version, a rolling crank in the deeper model. So you can actually pick these out depending on what depth you're gonna be fishing. So I get a mid, a deep, and a shallow, and that way you're set for all situations. So you might be casting on the side, you get stuck in some weed, you can switch over to the shallow one. Now these are really easy and a fantastic way to catch brim. So all you wanna do is literally cast it out and you just slowly wind it in. That's all you have to do. This is what me and Tyler started off with as well. One of our first lures that we liked is that we didn't have to think too much about it. We'd cast out, slowly wind, you'll feel them just pecking away at it, just keep winding and then eventually they're on. You've got really little treble so you don't wanna have it too hard to drag or anything. And then you just wind on and then that'll just start singing off. So they're a great lure. They cast pretty well too. Once you get the bigger bib ones, they do, if it's windy, they'll topple around a bit more. But those shallow ones are fantastic. Cast them over a weed flat, some sand holes, wind them back. It's a great way to catch brim. Okay, number one that we recommend for beginners is what we started on with, other than the accidental double clutches and stuff when we were flatty fishing, is the vibes. So little metal vibes, you cast these on. They're so easy to cast, you can cast them a long way. They sink very quickly so you can tell that they're on the bottom. Sometimes with the lighter plastics and things like that, it's hard to tell if it's actually on the bottom. So as a beginner, these are fantastic. You know it's out there, you go, ooh. And then when you're hopping it back, it vibrates. Very easy to tell if you get weed or anything stuck on it. So you know that if it's not working, you just wind it back in and go again. Take off the weed, go again. Sometimes the plastic, you're doing this slow hop all the way, get it back in and there's weed on there and you don't really know how long that's been on there. You could have wasted that whole cast. All right, with these ones, you can really tell if you get anything caught up on them. All right, so the metal vibes in about I think they go to 35 to 45 mils. We usually use the bit bigger size ones there. Um, but yes, I've actually, these ones are Eco Gear. They're just the ones that I've started with and I've stuck with them and they catch some great fish. Very nice sticky trebles. You sit them down there, you can fish them in shallow or deep. The only thing is if it is weedy, don't just chuck it into weed because they'll get caught up on things all the time. So. Out on a sand flat, out deep, bit of a muddy bottom, fantastic lure. That's our number one for beginners, all right? Great one to cast out. You can learn how to use lures very easily with that. If you like this video, please leave it a like. Tell us if you want any more of these kind of videos. Um, a lot of people starting out just want some basic information. You go into the shop and there's just tons and tons of lures to look at. So hopefully that gives you a starting point and we'll catch you in the next one.